Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I wanted to make a video and I really think that uh, holding EOS and holding Bitcoin and just being a part of this new technology revolution and the new rollout of an emerging asset class globally is really putting us in a very unique position that not very many people have ever been in history and definitely potentially won't be in the future especially once this actual shift uh, takes place. But I think that we're, we're at this very unique time where, like say for instance, the US federal government, <clears throat> uh, one of the uh, governments like China or like Russia or like somewhere in Europe may uh, <coughs> even Iran may end up holding uh, some Bitcoin and putting a country like the US and I bring them up because they're the world reserve currency at the moment and that's definitely being challenged and will continue to be challenged but governments like uh, the US government who is sitting as a world reserve currency but are sitting at a very very low um, amount of Bitcoin as far as holdings go will start to see that impact very drastically especially as they're printing their own dollars into oblivion you know I have heard another couple of trillion um, within the first couple of weeks of the new administration and probably more so you got to think we've already printed 25 percent of our entire currency in the past year if we do that again and again we're going to go into hyperinflation very quickly and the dollar will be depreciating at an even more exponential rate to where basically anything not in Bitcoin will be losing value. You, you can't even hold cash without it losing 20, 25, 30% because of them printing it. So you'd have to find an asset that's at 20 or 30% gains <laughs> just to break even. And then from there, you'd have to actually, you know, get gains to be able to enter into the black and into the major profit. And there's just no real traditional assets that are set to do that kind of uh, performance. But if you look across the crypto market, there's plenty of things that are getting ready to do that and have already done that in triplicate. And just keep your money out of the dollars to begin with so they're not losing all that money I mean I have money in EOS that even though EOS has stayed relatively the same and even lost some money against Bitcoin my EOS is up against the US dollar and people don't take that into consideration and it's all about preserving your purchasing power and increasing it and that's exactly what uh, this is doing but this is going to put uh, institutions like the IRS and the US government <clears throat> who are at an extreme Bitcoin holding deficit up against the wall and say look here to all the people who are holding cryptos and they're gonna say look if you pay your taxes this year with Bitcoin or hey if you pay this certain thing in crypto or hey if you uh, you know put and hold certain investments EOS or some type of crypto in this investment portfolio for lock it up for a certain amount of time or whatever the offer is that comes from these legacy systems of authority are going to <clears throat> basically be reaching out with an olive branch and giving people major breaks on uh, taxes for instance if you paid your taxes in Bitcoin this year, they may give you a 40% discount or something crazy. Now, I haven't heard any number like that, so don't think that that's the number. But I'm just saying that these institutions are at such a deficit for holding Bitcoin. They hold so little and there is so little available, you know, in general, there's 21 million but there's so much less and they want their share just as bad as 
all the other governments, all the other institutions, all the other major whales, all the other people <clears throat> to the point of they're going to give such steep discounts to get you to relinquish any Bitcoin, any crypto that they can. And so we are actually sitting and holding the best opportunity in so many ways. And that's just another way that we will be able to come to the negotiating table and have all of our demands met and then still benefit. Because think about it, we're, we're buying Bitcoin you know, just even a year ago under 5,000, if it goes to 100,000, you know, we 25 X our money, just take 10 times that type of money, 20, 30,000. And you know, if, if you got a super good deal on something for that uh, amount of money, I mean, that's basically free money because you, you had your money multiply so many times that you can, you can use that money to spend on splurge on things that kind of thing so you know the governments and institutions will be approaching the people who have the money who have the bitcoin and they will be offering incentives and offering uh, gimmicks and tactics and uh, things in order to get you to give up your bitcoin to them and you know that's obviously everyone's own discretion of when they give up their own uh, cryptos but I think that we're in such a good position that you know you'll be able to buy your time and really sit back and choose what's best for you at the time that's best for you so I just want to put those thoughts out there and get people thinking about some of the things that may be coming ahead Stoffel Baker out <laughs>